Hello, Professor Moses. This is my role of radio in politics. My first station that I started out to listen to was 1210 WPHT, Marcus Rubio. Um, it was a Republican Party a news station, and they talked about how Obama was off on the debate. Uh, some issues they discussed in depth where uh, they had Catholic nuns playing a bingo game, and they had, like, stuff to check out, like if Obama would eliminate poverty, reduce military spending, progressive tax credit, or progressive taxes, um, more spending, social justice. They all had all these issues, and Marcus Rubio was saying how they didn't have anything to do with uh, morals or, like, life values, like abortion topics or something like that. Um, they talked about how Al Gore blames the altitude from which Obama was in Denver at the time. Um, you could see how it's uh, a Republican station because Marcus was laughing uh, as he said this. And he was just like, what? Al Gore is uh, completely nonsense or something like that. The tax calls and feedback about the nuns, uh, talked about the Al Gore, he said Catholic voters are 26% of the registered voters, so he said it's, it's uh, probably an important topic to choose like subjects like abortion or morals. Um, he had a section of the radio to um, call people call in, and one of the girls that called in was a girl in school wearing a Romney t-shirt and apparently she went to a democratic school and uh, the democrat kicked her out of the classroom and she called in complained about it she felt that it was wrong of her teacher to do that she was ridiculed in school the teacher told her to take it off and it just led to this whole other issues problems does the host appear to concern himself with real problems and solutions yes because the political debate will affect everybody um, I'm sure he's concerned about it. And um, what do the programs say about politics, communication, and our culture? This station chose like a more Republican viewpoint from it. You know, it was ripping on Obama. It said that Romney won the debate by far, um, and it just shows that how. A news station is like one way form of communicating, but when they take their calls in, I guess that's how you can get the two way aspect of communicating. And through our culture, we can call in and listen to the guy and tell him our opinions on something. The second station that I listened to was KCMO 710, uh, Mike Huckabee. I, th I also think that this station is Republican. Um, the president at a po it talked about Obama at a post a post debate uh, viewpoint and how he was like preparing for it. Uh, that Obama should speak more specific, more about what is happening than you know focusing on other things. It talk it's a Fox News radio. It was, oh it's not Republican. It's fair and balanced. It said they said Fox News radio fair and balanced talked about how like McCain was telling Romney not to underestimate Obama and how Obama is going to be more prepared for the next uh, debate and do 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 it describes how the debate was as uh, Mike said that the, the debate was like a Hindenburg hind the Hindenburg crashing for Obama uh, he said Mitt was better than a Barack but and Mitt Romney was very respectful and gracious and went straight to the point as Obama Obama had little uh imp uh go along Obama had like I don't know I can't read my handwriting but he compared it to the Rocky theme song and he com brought like that culture to the to the radio and he permitted it as like he looked at Obama he like wasn't there as like he um he didn't have not much to say and Mitt came better prepared with more specifics and Obama said Romney's plans are too secretive and uh 
as uh, the rally went on. It was because it, he covered the rally aspect too. Um, Mike Huckabee concerned himself with real problems and solutions. Uh, he, he probably does. I get, again, he's a talk show talk show host, and I think it, the next president will affect uh, what is happening between him and Obama. He said that Obama was like a scalded dog that was scared, and uh, maybe he was perhaps focused on his anniversary the night before. Uh, as Romney was passionate and to the point, he came with specifics and details. And then throughout the uh, show, he was taking calls, reading Facebooks, and uh, reading tweets. And that could be linked to like our culture and how we communicate and the world of politics, how it's accepting like both medias. Um, my third station was 990 AM WNTP. This station was a conservative radio. They said it. Uh, Dennis Prager was the speaker. Uh, something went wrong. I don't. 